day good people and welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's video we are going to be talking about unfiltered kiddy kiddy is always picking a fight with owami that we all know about but it seems like a fight between her and sims is brewing because i bumped into a video on sip and relax where she was saying that sims did a very short life on instagram insulting kiddy and telling her to drop a location so that she can go there and they talk face to face in the live video sims was extremely upset and wanted to more kiddy left right and center because she says kiddy is always in a dms apologizing privately but on youtube she speaks badly about her and one video that kiddy did apologizing to sims the apology was full of defenses and not sincere my channel has never been about that i am so not like i am so tired of this bitch like i'm honestly like i'm honestly like she's going to make me act out of character don't fuck with me i don't want to talk on youtube me drop your pen drop your location Drop your location and let's talk about it man to man. Um you talk this nonsense that you always say to my face. You see, you see, Anemina, the people that I talk about, this is exactly why I'm able to be in the room. I'm able to be in a room of the people that I talk about. Not because I'm Tuganga. And I know that I'm not malicious. Just yesterday I was in a room. So busy was right there across the table. I walked past him a thousand times. So fucking unfiltered kitty, if you've got something to say to me, say it to my face, bitch. Don't send me DMs and apologize. And you always apologize in private. Your public apologies are very horrible. You, you, your apology was nonsense. Imagine you, a whole you, someone that has... If you want to see the full Instagram live of Sims, you can go and sip and relax. That's where the full video is. So guys, here is my honest opinion. Kiddy always tells the truth most of the times, though her delivery is not so good. On a video she did about Sims advertising hair, she was put on. The hair was not so great, guys. And I believe it was a constructive criticism she gave, not Ukote she hates Sims. The hair looked like it was not even worth a thousand rands. Let's be honest. It was not giving. And in that video, there is no way she said Sims was not looking good or her face was ugly or something, but she was only criticizing the hair. And she warned Sims not to take any endorsement which actually hurts her brand but things which are good and uplift her brand and not disrespect it i do not think she was being malicious at all but she was opening up sim's mind because maybe she maybe sims has no experience with her and yena she has got that's just what i think maybe her delivery was a bit harsh but i think she meant well what do you guys think and another video she made about Sims was about her dresses. And again, she started by saying Sims' right is beautiful. And there's no way definitely in that video which she attacks Sims about her looks. Just like Sims and Owami are alleging, the only thing she said which was wrong was that Sims was looking that seems was looking like a clown that right there was not nice and as for me i don't see anything wrong with sims dresses they are colorful unique and different we can't all wear the same clothes most allow her to be different and express her freedom of choice we want we can't all understand the fashion sense but if she loves it kudos to her from my own point of view kitty was probably giving feedback to the person who was sponsoring sims with the clothes because apparently a designer decided to dress sims to advertise her clothes and that was feedback from kitty she did not like the clothes so i think we should not crucify her for that but rather we should crucify her for her delivery because because they are a bit harsh but She's giving her opinions like all of us here on YouTube give our opinions on people's way of life uninvited. So it's unfair for big YouTubers to come out gun bla guns blazing after they are talked about because it's one and the same thing. They talk about others and others are bound to talk about them. Finish and clear. I remember Tandum Kleche warned Sims to say that now you are nearing a 100,000 subscribers, people will start talking about you more and more. 
because you are gaining a celebrity status. I guess Sims do not take the advice seriously because now it's happening. It's really manifesting, just like Nintendo says. So, good people, what are your thoughts on this? Let's discuss. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, please do not forget to like, to subscribe, to share, and to comment. Until next time, it's a bye for now.